Hello YouTube, my name is Jeffrey and um, today, today we are going to rendezvous with the International Space Station using the Orbiter 2010 Space Simulator. So as you probably can see we are already into an orbit with planet Earth and um, here on the uh, top right of your screen uh, there is a link to a previous video that I created how to bring a spacecraft uh, into uh, a decent orbit with planet Earth. So, uh, and like I just said, we are already into orbit, so let's uh, get started with this uh, tutorial. Um, this is, by the way, part one, uh, because uh, I think uh, it will take uh, 30 minutes from here to um, rendezvous with the in the International Space Station, then also perform a, uh, a docking to the uh, ISS. So the docking uh, will be part two. So as you can see, we are in orbit, and we are currently flying 290 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Our highest point of orbit is 365.1 kilometers, and our lowest point of orbit is 252 kilometers. We are going to the ISS, so let's target the ISS. And um, as you can see, the lowest point of orbit is 357.6 kilometers, and the highest point of orbit is 370 kilometers. And here on the left, on our left MFD, I have the map open and uh, we are the green cross and the green line and currently we have the moon targeted and that is a different story on a different day. So let's change that to the ISS and as you can see uh, we are not on the same uh, orbit path as the ISS so uh, yeah, let's get started to fix that. Uh, uh, first, and uh, for that we are going to need on the right MFD, I'm going to choose the right MFD, the Align Planes option, and again we are going to target the ISS, International Space Station, and as you can see our relative inclination is 28.74 degrees, and we would like to have that at 0 degrees. Uh, we are currently heading to the ascending node and um, to lower our relative inclination we are going to start with a normal minus an anti-normal and that is also uh, I think a good link to the AN node ascending node anti-normal normal minus so let's get into position The left MFD, uh, we will keep it open, and uh, you will see as we are start burning very shortly. I believe the green line will slowly. Uh, there we have it. The green line will slowly uh, change and uh, match the almost match the uh, yellow line, and it is again the International Space Station orbiting path direction. So, currently burning, like I said, and uh, we have to perform a relatively long burn as soon as the AN value, the ascending node, uh, reaches zero. We will cut our main engine and uh, yeah, go around half an orbit and uh, change to normal plus mode at the descending node to uh, perform another burn lower again our relative inclination so I'm going to perform a little fast forwarding within the Orbiter 2010 space simulator and also of course to uh, minimize the amount of tutorial time that we are going to need So the 
the Align Planes MFD system will also tell us to cut our main engine. And it will do it in a couple of seconds. Now. Exactly. So, like I just said, now we are heading to the uh, descending node, and that, uh, we, uh, and at that point we are going to need a normal plus maneuver burn to uh, continue with uh, lowering our relative inclination with the ISS. So, um, of course, we are not going to see how much to comp the half orbit that we are going to take. So, I'm going to fast forward again. So that our descending node, node is almost uh, at zero, so let's say uh, I think uh, two and a half degrees, and then I will go uh, out of uh, fast forwarding time mode. Let's go back to normal time, and again, uh, our system will tell us when to perform the uh, burn, and I'm using the plus sign on my keyboard, which will engage the uh, main engines as full throttle at once. Although that uh, our system is telling us to um, continue with the uh, orbit normal plus burn, I'll stop because um, we are already uh, yeah, past our descending node. And uh, yeah, for some reasons, I'm more comfortable to uh, stop burning when we are past the. Uh, Descending or ascending node, especially when we have yeah, some relative inflammation uh, left with the ISS. So what we are going to do is perform another burn again at the ascending node, and I'm going to fast forward again. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you probably have seen, I'm uh, using unlimited fuel. And uh, yeah, I'm not that experienced yet and very good with fuel saving. And uh, also, I am already in uh, normal minus mode. And of course, uh, to keep your vessel at this yeah, point, uh, your Rotation thrusters will uh, perform a couple of burns now and then, and that uh, of course uh, using some fuel. But anyway, let's continue. And now we are looking to our ascending node value 30 degrees left, so uh, I think 0 0.50 degrees uh, we will uh, receive the next message to. Uh, Form another burn. Fast forwarding a little bit. Yeah, back to normal speed. Fast forwarding is done by the letter T. And going back to normal speed is uh, the letter R. So I'm not that happy yet, 0.23 relative inflammation, I think that number is still too high, and we are, like I said, on unlimited fuel, so I'm com going to perform a last burn at the descending node, normal plus burn. And 
let's get back to normal speed. So we have a relative inclination of uh, 0 0.01 degrees and that is uh, yeah, exactly uh, what we want. Of course the perfect world is uh, 0 0.00 but uh, yeah, that, that's well <laughs> good for now uh, the 0 0.01 degrees. And as you can see on our left MFD uh, we are on the same uh, yeah, orbit path as the International Space Station. So our next maneuver is to uh, raise our lower lowest point of orbit. As you can see, we uh, are still uh, let's say uh, 60 kilometers uh, lower at our lowest point of orbit uh, than the uh, International Space Station. So let's see. Um, yeah, I was looking at our our altitude. Because for now uh, we have to make one orbit. Because I would like to perform a prograde burn, by the way. When we reach our highest point of orbit. So uh, our highest point currently is 434.8 kilometers. So when we are reaching the point, we are going to perform the uh, prograde burn. And we are almost there. And uh, what I'm going to do now is pressing F8, and that will bring up our cockpit. And what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of using the plus sign for a full throttle burn, I'm going to use the engine um, lever, so we can uh, have uh, more control of our throttle when we are engaging. And we are at our highest point. Look at our lowest point of orbit, it's 306, 314, 322, 338, 46, 54, yeah, that, it. that should do it. And um, now we have a lowest point of orbit of 360.2 kilometers, so that's uh, two and a half kilometers uh, below, uh, I'm sorry, above the International Space Station, and that is, uh, I think, pretty good. So our final thing for part one is to sync our orbits with that of the International Space Station. And uh, let's go back to orbit. Let's go to the left MFD and by the way I'm pressing F8 two times again. So I'm back to the original view. Select and uh, sync orbit. MFD target uh, ISS. What uh, we are going, <coughs> going to do is um, to uh, rendezvous with the ISS at the lowest point of orbit. So I'm going to press the mode button twice. One, two. So we have the reference at our periapsis. And uh, what I'm going to do is press the land button transit list length and I'm going to use uh, 10 orbits to uh, reach the International Space Station and uh, we would like to have those two numbers uh, exactly the same so matching and this is, this is saying something about the how much time we have left before the target and us is reaching um, the lowest point of orbit in our last orbit. 
So how are we going to do that? Um, as you probably have noticed on the map, the International Space Station is behind us, so we need to yeah, let it catch us, so therefore we're going to perform a um, prograde burn at our lowest point of orbit. And that of course will raise our highest point of orbit, but that's okay because then our orbit is becoming much wider and that will give the ISS the time to uh, catch up with us. So we are still at our highest point of orbit, 500 meters away. So let's fast forward again to our lowest point of orbit. Three hundred and sixty point two kilometers. We are almost there. And what I'm going to do again is press the F8 button because I would like to start, of course, with a full uh, engine uh, throttle. I don't want to overshoot this number, so uh, we can yeah, have more again more control uh, of the engines. So we are almost at our lowest point of orbit, as you well, the value already matches, but here on the left, the thick green line is the you know, the lowest point of orbit here, and we are yeah I'm not sure if you can see it now because it's of course already. Almost matching with the thinner, thick. I'm um, sorry, the thinner green line is us. So uh, yeah, we are at our burning point. So let's start with the burn. So the values already almost uh, matching. I see that uh, we have fifty. We are uh, fifty-one point nine two sec. Well, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what the K stands for. But anyway, we are uh, uh, point zero one second ahead. So what we are going to do is first uh, going back to our normal view. I'm changing from rotation to translation. translation. I'm going to adjust this by uh, yeah, perform some prograde and a retrograde burns, but on a very yeah very little with a very little amount because we want to have this dt min, uh, min, minus uh, value which is currently 9.23 also reaching or close as possible zero. So let's uh, do that right now. Performing uh, a retrograde bird using a translation, and that is the 19 going backwards. Zero point zero nine. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty good. So um, that will uh, end part one, and um, we will continue with the actual rendezvous uh, at the International Space Station with, let's say, uh, five orbits left. So uh, I hope to see you at part two of our tutorial. Thanks for watching so far, and uh, have a good one. Bye bye.